left Kiverton Community Woodland behind. And we're following the course of the Chesterfield Canal towards Worksop. Calling at various locations on the way. We've never done this before, so hopefully you'll join us along the way and enjoy it as much as we do. behind about a six seven minute walk through some fields full of horses and we're heading down this path which we believe is going to take us to the start of the canal and then we'll be following this all the way to workshop today and here we are Back on the Chesterfield Canal. So there we have the eastern portal of Norwood Tunnel. And we get to begin the journey. Along which looks absolutely picturesque already. I was amazed actually how high this path is. I can only assume this isn't the original towpath. If anyone wants to comment below if it was actually the other side. Because there are actually some mooring pins over there. Right, let's carry on and enjoy it. So there's no access to the towpath beyond that point if you're on a boat and there's no more windy knolls past this point either. So you'd have to spin it around just here and potentially moor it up just down here. It's, it's a really peaceful location though. So we've got two day visitor moorings at this location as well. Right, let's carry on. So we're now alongside Kiverton Park Station, which is up there. And we're going to go up onto the road, cross over to the other side and back down onto the towpath again. So we just crossed over Pac-Man Lane. Love the name, Pac-Man. We're going to continue on. And we think it's going to be pretty quiet and uninterrupted now for quite a while. Never been down here before ever. And it's absolutely stunning so far. It's just like you're somewhere completely different in a different like it's like being in Wales or something it's beautiful So that's two narrow boats we've seen already, which is in the space of about a quarter of a mile apart. Very good afternoon wilderness. I love the name on that. Yeah. Alright, let's continue on. This looks like a section where it could be planked up and could have drained either side of it. We're following the course under here, it's the mechanism which would have been used to lift the gate 
and the water would have overflowed into this dike so they could uh, perform maintenance on either side of that section. So we're now on the approach to bridge number 32. We've got the railway line to the left of us. And more beauty in front of us. And a signpost for exactly where we are. Bridge number 33 and it appears to carry footpaths into the woodland and the woodland just seems to go on and on and on so after bridge 33 we leave the railway behind or the railway leaves us behind and that curves off to the left and eventually we'll meet up with it again in the village of Lindrick Dale, which is probably around about a 10 minutes walk from here. So we're at bridge 34 now, and we're gonna take a little wonder to see what's over there. And then we'll be back on the towpath again. So we're on top of bridge 34. And I just thought we'd have a look over here because we've had a lot of these trees and woodlands alongside us, and it'd be nice just to have a little nosy around. So this particular one is Hawks Wood. We'll pop inside. Have a quick look. It looks rather pleasant. Now that is a long way down. Not sure what it once was. You've got the embankment there and then it dips down about six, seven or eight feet. That's remarkable. The tree growing outside. Let's get back. Back on bridge 34. I'm going to continue heading on this way. So we'll get back down onto the towpath. Nice little overflow, nice little bridge. That's number 34A. It's got a lovely flow of water going down some stairs. So leaving 34A behind, we're now in the process of passing Lindrick Dale and we'll continue on and see what's next. So we're at Fork Top Treble Lock and this is number 20 and it is extremely deep. Wow, I like this. Let's go the other side. Try not to fall in. Ice is nice here. So it's a triple lock flight. So there's number 20. This will be number 21, which is also amazingly deep. There's not a lot of water in the bottom of there. So see the bottom of that? I 
And this will be number 22. It's got a hell of a lot more water in it. And that's bridge number 35. And we've got to cross the gates back up there, I think, to get back over. So we're going to duck our heads, go under number 35. Ugh. And we're welcomed by lock number 23. My mask lot number 25. Absolutely idyllic location. There's the remains of an old waterways building of some sort there. And as soon as we left number 25, we'll be going over to meet number 26. So we'll see you when we get there. So Fort Mode treble lock number 26. Water's a lot higher on this one. So we'll make our way down. These locks are in fantastic condition. The gates are immaculate. Yep, that's quite a way down. Right, let's carry on to the next one. Got some engineering boats down here doing this stuff. And we've got more locks just past them. These lock gates are only two years old, renewed in 2017 from the Stanley Ferry Workshop. Milestone lock number 29. Down here, we'll be number 30, a pair of swans. Building a nest on the far side. <laughs> 